Thank you once again for coming to check us out here today at New York Eternix. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. Also, leave a like for the channel. Uh, hey. Thanks again for coming to check us out here today at New York Eternix. My name is Kenny. For those of you who don't already know, welcome to the channel. This is New York Eternix, your source for everything quail and game bird related. Today we just got a new shipment of eggs in, quail eggs from K. Del Caternix in Ohio. Thank you, K. Del Caternix. So we're going to get these eggs in the incubator and we're going to go over a few things as far as, you know, incubating your quail eggs. Uh, I'm actually using an incubator that I built. The incubator that I built, I got the design from Caternix Corner. Terry over at Caternix Corner, special shout out to him. I'm pretty sure this incubator is going to do great. I've tested it out without eggs. This thing will hold temperature, you know, for days at a time. And it was a really nice design. We built it out of foam board, uh, a few other materials. And if you haven't seen the video on how to do that, I'll leave a link in the description down below. So... Let's get started. Make sure you leave a like for the video. If you haven't already done it, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell down below so you're notified whenever we do leave new material on the channel. Also, we're going to be doing a live hatch in about 18 days when these eggs do, you know, start hatching, pipping and zipping. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you can tune in live when that does happen. We look forward to that. All right, so of course we're gonna make sure that we carefully take the eggs out of the packaging. And you see how well they're packaged. I'm gonna, you know, push them through with one finger and carefully remove them. Check them out one by one, and I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the incubator. Uh, the shelf for the incubator, this is a build that, again, I got from Caternix Corner. Uh, the shelf that I built right here, I did drill a bunch of holes to let the humidity through piece of plywood at the bottom. I'm going to redesign this thing and uh, we'll see where it goes from there. It's definitely going to have some hardware cloth on the bottom. Uh, but we're going to examine each and every last one of these eggs. I'm pretty sure, just like last time, they've come through impeccably. Uh, of course, anything can happen with the U.S. Postal Service. It was only between Ohio and Buffalo. It only took a couple of days, but we want to make sure that none of the eggs are damaged and we're going to get all of them in there. And uh, straight away, what I'm noticing is that these eggs are in remarkably good shape. They are a little bit cold because, you know, it's less than 20 degrees outside. And I'm hoping that, you know, the eggs didn't suffer too much damage during the time that they were out there in shipping. But we're going to get this done. We're going to go ahead and get all of these eggs in here as long as they're viable. And... We'll see what we come up with. Last time I did a hatch with K. Del Caternix. I'm not sure what the hatch rate was, but it was pretty high. Uh, we actually did a contest on that. I'm thinking about doing that again. We may do a contest for maybe some quail egg scissors or something like that. Uh, the hatch rate, I'm pretty sure, will be pretty high. Like I said, this incubator, it holds temperature, is designed. Uh, so, you know none of the mechanical portions are going to get in the way of what you're trying to do. The last incubator that I purchased had the fan on the bottom of the incubator and I swear it was the worst idea ever. Anyway, so again, we're checking out all the eggs and we're carefully taking them out. We're going to make sure that we place them down carefully because this is an imperfect surface. They will roll. Uh, this isn't a bench that I built. When I build a bench, it's going to be it's going to be marvelous, people. It's going to be the best bench ever. Yeah, don't even get me started. Yeah. Hey, um, so we're going to build a bench at some other point, probably in the spring. But for now, like I said, I'm going to be careful with these eggs. I'm going to make sure that they, you know, don't roll too hard. And I'm going to take these out layer by layer. So the eggs are really clean. They're all in really good shape. Uh, it's getting to the point where I can almost you know, feel by hand that there's no real imperfections in these eggs. So I'm going to try to get this done as quickly as possible because, again, these eggs were out in shipping and uh, I'm pretty sure it was cold the whole way coming here. So I'm going to take these eggs out. Let's get them in the incubator. And if you notice right here, looks like we have a pure celadon egg. 
celadon trait causes the quail to lay blue eggs and it is very desirable especially in the world of arts and crafts and everything you know they photograph beautifully they craft beautifully we have this celadon egg i'm going to make sure that i watch this one i want to see what comes out of this egg and we uh you know may see if we can get another celadon egg and breed those to come up with more celadons so again make sure you hit that notification bell because we will be doing a lot moving forward on the channel and let's just get the rest of these eggs in here now there's a couple of things that you're going to want to make sure that you keep in mind when you're incubating your quail eggs with this specific incubator this was a design again from Caternix Corner this thing is excellent I'm going to rate it before I even finish this hatch because again it holds its temperature very well but you're going to want to make sure that your humidity and your temperature remain at a constant. But generally speaking, while your eggs are incubating for the first 14 days or so before lockdown, you wanna have your humidity somewhere at about 45 to 55%. Uh, beyond that, you wanna have your temperature at about 37.5 degrees Celsius, which is about 99 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you have one of the incubators that we built that was designed by Terry that thing is going to automatically as soon as it gets below a certain temperature if you set your ink bird right it's going to pick right back up those lights are going to come back on and your incubator is going to come back up to temperature the humidity you can control that by putting water in the bottom of the incubator and of course that will deplete after a while but it'll circulate through and keep your humidity in at a constant level uh, you want to keep a hygrometer in there once you put the eggs in a lockdown, you're going to change the humidity level. But for now, you're going to want to make sure that you maintain that 45 to 55 percent humidity level. So again, hygrometer. And since I'm not using an egg turner, I'm going to come and turn them by hand as often as I can for the first 14 days again before lockdown. So after about six days or so, I usually wait about day eight, you can actually candle your eggs. You get a nice, powerful flashlight, usually one of the tiny ones that you get from the you know, utility store, what have you. Uh, you get that, and you make a little cup with your hands, and you put the egg on top, and you can see what's going on inside of the egg. Now, we'll do a video on candling at another time. Maybe that'll be another video, another quick video that I do next. Uh, we'll see if enough people need to do that, but there's a lot of videos out there already on candling. So we're gonna to wanna to candle the eggs after, you know, a few days and whichever eggs aren't looking like there's anything in, in there, we can discard those, but I like to leave everything alone anyway. But you know, just for the sake of education, we're gonna do that too. All right, and I'd like to thank you guys once again for coming to check us out here today at New York Eternix. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. Also, leave a like for the video and please subscribe to the channel for more. Listen, I need you guys to hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever we do leave new content on the channel. And like I said earlier, we have that live hatch coming up. We're going to make sure that that hatch happens live here on the channel. So in about 18 days, you'll get to see brand new baby quail chicks being born live. So make sure you hit that notification bell. And again, thank you for coming to check us out here today at New York Attorneys.